Bella Hadid opened up about struggling with some super relatable issues. And Nick Jonas got a hilariously awkward visit from Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. And Kylie Jenner had a very special delivery that we are just dying to tell you about. We're talking about all of this on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Hey guys, welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Devin Howard. Hey everyone, I'm Kate DeRocher. And let's just kick things off by talking about Bella Hadid. So I actually really, really like this story because Bella, obviously being a supermodel, seems really cool and confident walking down the runway. She was in the Victoria's Secret fashion mm -hmm. show in November. Like she's got it all together. Totally. Like, icon totally. Yeah, like you would never expect that she deals with any sort of issues at all, which I guess <laughs> is kind of naive of me to think. <laughs> But, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently on uh, her mom's show, it's a new show on Lifetime called Making a Model with Yolanda Hadid. Which but, sounds amazing. Yeah, Let I know. Let me just say I'm very excited to watch that. We Let's like have a viewing party. <laughs> yes, because like I'm amazing. We'll live stream it for you guys. Yes, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Bella sits down with the six aspiring models who are on the show. And one of the models, they're all really, really young. She details her experience with anxiety. And Bella had a really great response, so take a look at the clip. Literally start crying and shaking if I had to do interviews at red carpet events because I scary. was just so it was really nerve wracking and it's scary. So, I like I love amazing, that, right? <laughs> yeah, I love that she is able to relate to this model mm -hmm. and kind of make her feel less alone. What do you think about Bella opening up about struggling with different mental health issues? Oh, I think that's amazing. As somebody who has anxiety herself, it's so great to see somebody you look up to and who you're like, oh, I would love to be like that person. Talk about having their own issues. So you're like, oh, we're all the same. We all struggle with the same things, no matter how famous you are. Yeah, exactly. And I, you know, like I said before, I was pretty surprised that she actually was being so open about it and that she even did have these issues, mm -hmm. you know? Cause she walks down the runway in like barely their lingerie right. and looks just like literally nothing Flawless. could ever phase her. Yeah. yeah, but she says she was crying and shaking yeah. before interviews. It's crazy. And I mean, you're an on-camera host and you have anxiety. Exactly, it's, it's all of us, we have all these issues. I mean, stars are just like us, right? <laughs> Okay, well, so I, yeah, that story I think is really wonderful. And props to Bella Hadid for opening up and destigmatizing things like anxiety and other mental health issues. Love. Yes, amazing. So Keep it up, girl. So now let's move on to our next topic. So we're going to be talking about in this episode of Daily Rewind how the Kardashian Jenner family is receiving a bunch of Ooh. wonderful deliveries. But it's Kylie's newest bundle we're the most excited about. But. <laughs> We're not going to get into that yet. Just wait, guys. We're we'll get make there. You wait. <laughs> Let's throw it way back to 2008 when uh. the Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez reigned supreme. Those were the best times. I My know. Favorite Disney times. I mean, <laughs> let's get them back. I know. Can we get like a Hannah Montana reboot? Yes. Please? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I love that. Nick Jonas paid a visit to BBC Radio One and was grilled both about <laughs> his former girlfriends and by a former. <laughs> Girlfriend. Uh, I like feel for him. That would be my absolute nightmare. I know. To see How my ex boyfriend. <laughs> I know. I mean, luckily, it seems like he's on good terms yes. with his exes, but still, like, it's, it was, you can tell he felt a little uncomfortable. I'm sure. So, just a little background in case you guys don't know, he was asked what he thought about Miley's Seven Things song. So, if you guys forgot, that Seven Things song is a song Miley wrote about the seven things she hates about her <laughs> ex boyfriend. So, it's obviously pretty scathing. It has some sweet moments in it. It's a great song. It, it was my anthem back in the day. Yes, I one. did love that song. Um, but he he says that he was actually flattered by it, and he knew it was about him because he said, quote, she does wear a dog tag that I gave her when I was 14. I was actually kind of flattered, to be honest, because it's there forever, and I know it's about me. So that's a great attitude. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Very <laughs> positive outlook, Nick. <laughs> okay. I know. If not, I, not my response. <laughs> no, I would be like, I never want to hear that song again, but. But <laughs> apparently he likes it. <laughs> so he also got a video visit from Selena Gomez. She left a pre-recorded video for him asking about their infamous Central Park date with Joe Jonas and Taylor Swift. So take a look at the clip. I was wondering if that brought up anything for you. You know, Central Park was really beautiful. It was actually my first time. Um, maybe that says something. Oh. <laughs> Too so bad. That's cute. 
cute. Apparently, Sel Selena was super mad that Nick wouldn't be seen with her in public. I would be too. Of Me course. too. Awful. <laughs> I know, but at least she walked out of that disastrous date with a new BFF in Taylor Swift. True. Again, yes. a positive spin on the story. Uh, <laughs> yes. So it looks like Nick Jonas has a really great history of ex-girlfriends who, yeah. like, he doesn't feel too strongly about. <laughs> So while Nick is reliving his past, Kylie Jenner is preparing for the future Ooh. with that special delivery we told you guys about <laughs> earlier. Kylie received a massive delivery of what looks like a baby crib. So what yes. did you think about this? Yes, okay. It could be a baby crib, it could be something totally different, but I'm gonna choose to say it was a baby crib because that thing is massive and we have like three guys in the driveway putting it together. You should check out the photos because I mean, it might be for her little bundle of joy that we think she's having or what did it already had. I who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But she's definitely preparing for something. I looked really closely at this photo. It doesn't look like it's a dresser. It doesn't look like it's a table. It definitely looks you think like so? a, just like a massive crib. Like oh, way yeah. too much space Lucky for baby. a newborn. <laughs> I know, right? But uh, I don't know, to me this feels like a confirmation. Also recently, Backgrid.com had those exclusive photos of a very pregnant looking Kylie shopping at CVS the other day. So, so much is going on. What do you think about everything that went down in Hollywood today? Are you glad that Bella Hadid is so open about her struggle with anxiety? What did you think of that awkward Joe Jonas ex-girlfriend uh, reunion? And it. his confirmation <laughs> that Seven Things is about him? Finally, tell me what you guys think about Kylie's delivery. Is it a crib? Is it not a crib? Do you agree with us? Do you think it's something else? Let us know in the comment section. <laughs> We're gonna be reading because I really wanna hear all your thoughts. And we will see you tomorrow on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind.